Welcome to Laravel API development with Vue.js single page application from scratch. The following episode is going to be an excerpt from the full course now available on Udemy. If you're interested in developing robust Laravel APIs with a front end built on Vue and Tailwind CSS, then this is the course for you. We go into great detail talking about things like authentication, testing, Tailwind CSS, Vue.js, Laravel, PHP unit, and so much more. So I hope you'll join me for the full course. Go ahead and click on the link in the description to get sent to the Udemy page where you can purchase the full course. I hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get right to it. So our project name is Jot. So we're going to run Laravel new Jot. Now, of course, this is going to craft a brand new Laravel application and it's going to set up everything that we need. So let's go ahead and let it install and we'll be right back. Okay, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and CD right into that directory and then we'll open it up in PHP Storm. Okay, so as with every single brand new layer of our application, there's going to be some setup involved with this. So the first thing is I know that I'm going to need some sort of authorization and authentication. So why don't we run the make off command right now? If you're not familiar with it, you can run PHP artisan help make off. So this command will basically scaffold everything that we need for a basic login and registration. This is what our application is going to use. Now, of course, we're going to use this in a slightly different way because we are building an API and we are not building a true 100% Laravel application. It's going to have that mixture of view and it's going to be powered by an API that Laravel is going to power for us. So let's go ahead and run PHP artisan make auth. And this, again, will scaffold everything that we need. So if we jump back to PHP Storm, we can take a look at some of the files that it added. For example, if we go into our web.php file, this file now contains all of our authentication routes. So that's pretty cool that Laravel does that for us automatically. We're actually not going to need a lot of this stuff here, so I will erase it eventually. So next in our setup, how about view? Of course, we know we're going to use view, but by default, Laravel actually ships with Bootstrap and view. So let's take a look at that. Let's go to our package.json file right in the root of our project and take a look at this. We have bootstrap, we have jQuery. So there's a couple of things here that we don't need. So to get rid of these, of course, we could go in through the code and do it manually. But better than that, we can use another PHP artisan, which is PHP artisan preset. And if we run PHP artisan help preset, of course, we're going to get a help for the same thing. So what are the types of arguments that we can put? Well, we could say none, bootstrap, view, or react. So why don't we run none first? This will clear everything out, and then we'll just simply run view. So let's say PHP artisan preset none. And now if we go back here, we see that all of it kind of disappear. Now it does leave some stuff behind like Lodash and Axios, which we are going to need. So it's pretty cool that it leaves those in for us. Now, if we take a look at the entry point for our application, that's going to be inside resources, JS, app.js, we are requiring a file called bootstrap. Now, don't get confused with bootstrap as in Twitter bootstrap, but bootstrap is just simply a bootstrapping file, which actually bootstraps our JavaScript front end. So don't get those two confused. So right into our window, we are requiring Lodash and Axios. So that's pretty cool. The other thing it's doing is it's setting our common headers. So that way Axios knows what to do. On top of that, we're also going to be setting our CSRF token and all of this comes out of the box. So that's fantastic. But nowhere in here do we see view. We need to bring in view along with a couple of other things. So why don't we run PHP artisan preset view and let's see what that does for us. So let's go back here. And sure enough, now we have view available to us and it is required. And if we move back to the package.json file, we do have view now. Now there's going to be two more dependencies that we're going to need. So why don't we require those now? So to bring in a new package, we can say npm install. And what I'm looking for is view dash router and tailwind CSS. And then we're going to save those in our dependencies for development. Now there are two sections for this. We want them inside the dev dependencies. A little bit of this has to do with the way that we're going to deploy our projects. So we're going to compile all of our JavaScript files. So there's no need for us to actually have 
any of these NPM packages installed in a production server. So let's go ahead and run that command now. And with this, we've installed a couple of dependencies that we're going to need for our project, mainly Tailwind CSS, View, and View Router. And we've also cleared out of any unnecessary bootstrap stuff that comes with Laravel. All right, so we're just about ready, but of course, our routing needs to be different. Now, typically in a PHP application with Laravel, we're going to use the web routes, but of course, in a single page application, we need to pull in View Router. So in the next lesson, let's go ahead and get started with View Router.